marketing. Mr. Forzik. Uh, testing. Can you, can you hear me in the, ooh, hot mic. Hot mic. Uh, Miss Lynch, fellow graduates, honored guests, and others. Looking over these familiar faces really takes me back to those wonderful bygone days. Days of working and playing together. Days of cheering together for our athletic teams. Yay, ringtails! And days of worrying together when examination time rolled around. Perhaps some of the familiar faces of yesteryear are absent this evening because they thought our beloved Miss Lynch might have one of her famous English finals awaiting us. <laughs> I was only joking. <laughs> However, the small portion of alumni I do notice missing tonight are certainly not missing from our fond memories of them. And I'm sure they'd want us to know that they're fully present and accounted for in spirit just the way we always remember them.
it's only quarter after 12, and I feel like it's been a whole year already. Yeah, what a drag. Hey, you want to sit here? Sure. Rizzo's coming, and Frenchie's bringing that new chick. Hey, Marty, who'd you get for economics? Old man Drucker. Yeah, what a drag. He keeps making passes. For real? He never tried nothing with me. Huh. You want my coleslaw? I'll see if I have room for it. Hey, Rizzo, over here. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, where's all the guys? Those slobs? You think they'd spend a dime on their lunch? They're bagging it. It's pretty cheap. Hey, Rock. I'll take you a sardine for liver sauce. You had him in your ice box since last Easter. Nah, this is a fresh can. My mom just opened it this morning. You mean she dragged her lazy carcass out of bed for you? Sure, she does every year on the first day of school. Hey, where are you at? Hey, Kaniki, what's happening? Hey, Kaniki, what you got in the bag? I'll trade you half a sardine. Get out of here with that dog food. I ain't messing up my stomach with none of that crap. So where you been all summer? Who are you, the FBI? I was just asking. I was working, which is more than either of you two skids can say. Working where? Logging boxes at Bargain City. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> hey, Kramit, I'm saving up to get me some wheels. You're getting a car? Hey, cool. What kind? I don't know what kind yet, moron, but I got a name all picked out. Grease Lightning. <laughs> oh, <Old> nifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you ought to get a hamster instead. <laughs> Go ahead, laugh it up. When I show up in that baby, you guys will be laughing out the other end. <laughs> <laughs> now, will we ever? <laughs> Hey, what do you say, son? Son of a bee, I've got old lady Lynch for English again. She hates my guts. Nah, she just got the hots for you. That's why she keeps putting you back in her class. <laughs> yeah, she's just waiting for you to grow up. Yeah, well, this year, she's going to wish she's never seen me. Yeah? What are you going to do to her? I'm just not going to take any of her crap. That's all. I don't take no crap from nobody. What's all the racket out here? Uh, hi, Miss Lynch. Did you have a nice summer? Dominic, aren't you supposed to be in class right now? Well, um... You're just dawdling, aren't you? A fine way to start the new semester, Mr. Lottieri. Well, are you going to stand here all day? No, no ma'am. Then move. Yes, ma'am. I'm sure glad she didn't give me no crap, son. <laughs> you would have really told her off, right? Shut up. Hey, Jan, who's that chick with Frenchie? She the one you were telling me about? Yeah, her name's Sandy. She seems pretty cool. Maybe we could let her into the pink ladies. Just what we need. Another broad around. Oh, hi, guys. This is my new next-door neighbor, Sandy Dombrowski. And that's Marty, and this here's Rizzo, and you remember Jan. Sure, hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Come on, sit down. Oh, hey, Marty, those new glasses... Yeah, I just got them for school. Do they make me look smarter? Nah, we can still see your face. How'd you like rice pudding down your bra? Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> so, Sandy, how long have you been living around here? Since July. My father just got transferred here. Hey, French, what'd you do to your hair? It looks really tough. Oh, I just touched it up a little. <laughs> Hey, Sandy, you gonna eat your coleslaw? <clears throat> it smells kind of funny. Well, wait till you have the chipped beef, better known as barf on a bun. Don't mind her, Sandy. Some of us like to show off and use scurvy words. Some of us? Check out Miss Toilet Mouth over here. Up yours, Rizzle. So, how do you like school so far, Sandy? Oh, it seems really nice. I was going to go to Immaculata, but my father had a fight with the Mother Superior over my patent leather shoes. What do you mean? She said boys could see up my dress and reflection. Swear to God. Hey, where do you get shoes like that? Hi, kids. Look who's coming. Patty Simcox, the little Lulu of Rydell High. Yeah, wonder what she's doing back here with us slobs. Well, don't say hello. We won't. Is there any room at your table? Yeah, move over, French. Oh, I just love the first day of school, don't you? It's the biggest thrill of my life. You'll never guess what happened this morning. Probably not. Well, they announced this year's nominees for student council. And guess who's up for vice president? Who? Me. Isn't it wild? Wild. I just hope I don't make too poor showing. Well, we sure wish you all the luck in the world. Thanks. You must think I'm a terrible clod. I never even bothered to introduce myself to your new friend. Oh, I'm Sandy Dombrowski. It's a real pleasure, Sandy. We certainly are glad to have you here at Rydell. Thank you. 
I'll bet you're going to be a cheerleader tryouts next week, aren't you? No, I'd be too embarrassed. <laughs> Don't be silly. I could give you a few pointers if you like. Double doo-doo! Goodness gracious! What was all that about? One of my diamonds fell in the macaroni. Hey, ain't that Danny over there? Where? Yeah, what's he doing over by the girls' gym entrance? Maybe he's sought for some chick. One of those broads you've seen around since kindergarten? Not quite. Hey, Danny! What you doing? Way to go, dude. Play it real cool. I'll leave him alone. Hey, you guys, what's shaking? Hey, what do you say? Zook, see the good-looking stuff over there? Nah, just the same old chicks. Where you been all summer, Danny? Well, I spent a lot of time down at the beach. Hey, did you meet any new broads? Nah, just this one that was sort of cool. You know? <laughs> Great fun. <laughs> Is that all you ever think about, Sonny? You bet! <laughs> Come off it, Zuko. You got a little action, right? Look, that's none of you guys' business. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the way you're gonna be. Come on, you don't want to hear all the horny details anyway. Sure we do, let's hear a little. Come on. So Sandy, what did you do all summer? Oh, I spent most of the summer at the beach. What for? We got a brand new swimming pool right in the neighborhood. It's real nice. Yeah, if you like swimming in Clorox. Well, actually, I met a boy there. You hauled your cookies all the way to the beach for some guy? This is sort of a special boy. Are you kidding? There ain't no such thing. Okay, you guys want to hear what happened? Yeah. You came here. Yeah. No, he was really nice. It was all very romantic. <laughs> Summer love had me a blast Summer loving happened so fast I met a girl crazy for me Met a boy cute as can be Summer day drifted away to our summer night Well, oh, well, oh, well, oh. Tell me more, tell me more Did you get very far? She got friendly down the sand. She was good, no one me. Summer heat, boy and girl meet, but oh, oh, the summer night. So I told her we'd still be friends Then we made our true love vow Wonder what she's doing now Summer dreams ripped at the sea
wonderful, Sandy. She really sounds cool, Danny. A guy doesn't touch her, and it's true love. Maybe he was a pansy. Great legs, huh? Well, nice talk, Rizzo. She Catholic? What if we said that about Danny Zuko? Hot stuff, huh, Zuko? Did you say Danny Zuko? I didn't say that, Sonny. Hey, was he the guy? Boy, you get all the neats. <laughs> doesn't he go to Lake Forest Academy? <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't go to Idel, does she? That's a laugh. Too bad. I bet she'd go for me. <laughs> Listen, Sandy, forget Danny Zuko. I know some really sharp boys. So do I. Right, you guys? Come on, let's go. Yes, yeah, see you around, Patty. Yeah, maybe we'll drop in on the next student council meeting. Well, speaking of the devil... What'd I tell you? They're always chasing me. Not you, Greaseball. Danny. Yeah, we got a surprise for you. Hello, Danny. Sandy, hi, how are you? Fine. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, that's cool. <laughs> hey, look, I, uh, I thought you were going to Immaculata. I changed my plans. Yeah, well, that's cool. Hey, look, I'll see you around, okay? Come on, you guys, let's go. Where do you know her from, Danny? Just an old friend of the family. Hey, she's pretty sharp. I think she could ice for me. Did you notice? I saw that. <laughs> Gee, he was so glad to see you. He dropped his lunch. I don't get it. He was so nice this summer. Don't worry about it, Sandy. Hey, listen, how'd you like to come to my house tonight? It'll be just us girls. Yeah, those guys are all a bunch of creeps. Yeah, Zuko's the biggest creep of all. Fontaine here at Big 15, spinning the sax wax here at House of Wax, W-A-X-X, cruising time, 1046, sharpshooter pick of the week, a brand new one, shooting at the charts like a rocket by the Bell Du Rays, going out to Ronnie and Sheila, the kids down at mom's school store, and especially to little Joe and the little Dons, listen in while I give it a spin. It says here that Fabian is in love with some Swedish movie star and might be getting married. Oh, no. Who cares? As long as they don't get their hooks into kooky. Hey, Frenchie, pass me a ciggy butt, will ya? Oh, me too. I got the pack out. You want one, Sandy? No, thanks. I don't smoke. You don't? Well, did you ever try it? Well, no, but I... Go on! Try it! It ain't gonna kill ya. Give her a hit parade. Now, when she holds up the match, suck on it. <coughs> oh, uh, I forgot to tell you, don't inhale if you're not used to it. 
It's all right. <laughs> You'll get better at it. Yeah, then I can show you how to French inhale sometime. But that's the ugliest thing I ever saw. Nah, the guys really go for it. Besides, that's how I got my nickname, Frenchy. Sure it is. Oh, jeez, you guys, I almost forgot. A little, uh, sneaky Pete to get the party going? Ooh, Italian Swiss colony. Wow, it's imported. Well, hey, we need some glasses. Just drink it out of the bottle. We ain't got cooties. It's kind of sweet. I think I like Thunderbird better. Okay, Princess Grace. I didn't say I didn't want any. It just don't taste very strong, that's all. Hey, I brought some Twinkies. Anybody want one? Twinkies and wine? Real clash, Jan. It says here, it's a, it's a dessert wine. Hey, Sandy didn't get any wine. Oh, that's okay. I don't mind. Hey, I'll bet you never had a drink before either. Sure I did. I had some champagne at my cousin's wedding once. Oh, ring-a-ding-ding. <laughs> hey, no, wait. You gotta chug it like this. Otherwise, you swallow air bubbles, and that's what makes you throw up. I never knew that. Sure. Rudy from the Capri Lounge told me the same thing. Hey, Sandy, you ever wear earrings? I think they keep your face from looking so skinny. Hey, yeah, I got some big round ones made out of real mink. They would look great on you. Would you like me to pierce your ears for you, Sandy? I'm going to be a beautician, you know. Yeah, she's real good. She did mine. No, my father would probably kill me. You still worry about what your old man thinks? Well, no, but isn't it awfully dangerous? You ain't afraid, are you? Of course not. Good. <coughs> oh, hey, Marty, you got a needle round? Um, how about my virgin pin? <laughs> nice to know it's good for something. What's that crack supposed to mean? Oh, forget about it, Marty. I was just teasing you. Well, tease someone else. It's my house. <gasps> oh, could you hold still? Hey, French, why don't you take Sandy and the John? My old lady'd kill me if we got blood all over the rug. Huh? Oh, come on, it only bleeds for a second. Oh, oh we miss all the fun. Oh, hey, Marty, I need some ice to number earlobes. Look, why don't you just let the cold water run for a while and then stick her ear under the faucet? Listen, I'm sorry. I'm not feeling too well, and Look, I don't... Look, Sandy, if you think you're going to be hanging around with the pink ladies, you got to get with it. Otherwise, go back to your hot cocoa and Girl Scout cookies. Okay, come on, Frenchie. Hey, Sandy, don't sweat it. If she screws up, she can always fix her hair so it covers your ears. Oh, hearty har har. That chick's getting to be a real nerd. All I offer is. Yeah, she can't help it if she ain't been around. Yeah, well, how long are we supposed to play babysitter for her? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, hey, Marty, Sandy's sick. She's heaving all over the place. Did you do her ears already? Nah, only did one. But the minute she saw that blood, she went bleh. God, what a party poop. Jeez. It's getting kind of chilly in here. I think I'll put my robe on. Hey, where'd you get that thing? It's from Japan. Do you like it? Yeah, everything's from Japan these days. No, this guy I know sent it to me. You going with a Jap? He ain't a Jap. He's a Marine and a real doll, too. Oh, hey, Marty. Do you think he could get me one of those things? You never told us you knew any Marines. Yeah, how long you known this guy? Oh, just a couple of months. I met him on a blind date at the roller rink, and the next thing I know, he joins up. Anyway, right off the bat, he starts sending me things, and today I got this kimono. Oh, yeah. Look what else. Oh, neat. It's just a tiny bit too big, so I got to get some Angora for it. Jeez. Engaged to a Marine. Ensville. So what's this guy look like, Marty? Yeah, you got a picture? Yeah, but it ain't too good. He's not in uniform. Oh, here it is by Paul Anka. Why is it ripped in half? His old girlfriend was in the picture. So what's this guy's name? Oh, it's Freddy. Freddy Stralka. He a Polak? Now, I think he's Irish. 
Do you write them a lot, Marty? Pretty much. Every time I get a present. What do you say to a guy in a letter anyway?
know why I brought this tire iron anyway. I could have yanked those babies off with my bare hands. Sure you could, Zuko. I just broke six fingernails. <laughs> These top caps ain't got a scratch on them. We could get two beans apiece for him, easy. No kidding? How much can we give you these dice? Who would put brand new chromers on a secondhand dodging car? Probably some real tool. Hey, come on, let's go push these things off on somebody, huh? Sure, it's 11 o'clock at night. Where are we gonna sell them? At a police station? A police station? What a laugh. They don't use these kind of hubcaps on cop cars. Hey! Here comes that car we just hit! Let's make tricks! Ditch the evidence! No, no, wait a minute. It's Kaniki, come on. All right, put those th things back on the car, dipstick. Jeez, what a grouch. We was only holding for you so nobody would swipe them. Hey, where'd you get these cool dice? So what's with the hunk of junk? What do you mean? This is grease lightning. <laughs> what, you really expect to make down the sardine can? <laughs> get bent, Lottieri. A nice color. What is it? Chiquito banana yellow? <laughs> <laughs> Wait till I give it a paint job and soup up the engine. She'll be working like a champ. The one and only Grease Lightning. I'll have you lift your hands before they'll want to win. A few catching caught up and grow bladed right to yeah. With the force beat on the floor, they'll be waiting at the door. You know without a doubt, they'll be really making out Grease Lightning. Go, 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 go. I'll have you purple French tail like 30 inch bin, so oh, yeah. A Palomino dash for you, dual about the twins, so oh, yeah. With the pistons, plus the shots, she can beat the super stocks. You know I ain't bragging, she's a real dragon wagon. Grease line, go, 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 So long. Never mind what took me so long. Is that your new custom convert? Yeah, ain't it cool? Yeah, it's about as cool as a good humor truck. <laughs> okay, Rizzo, you can go back to your pajama party. There are plenty of babes who'd like to ride around this little number. Sure they would. Out. Hey, Zuko, I just left your girlfriend at Marty's house, flashing all over the place. What are you talking about? Sandy Dombrowski. You know, Sandra D. Be cool, you guys. You better tell that to Rizzo. <laughs> Fuzz, hey, you guys better get rid of those hubcaps. What do you mean, man? They're yours. No, they're not. I stole them.
Hi, it's Sandy. Hey, what happened to your ear? Uh-huh. Uh, nothing. Just an accident. Hey, look, I hope you're not bugged about that first day at school. I mean, you could tell I was glad to see you, right? Well, you could have been a little nice to me in front of your friends. Are you kidding? Look, you don't know those guys. As soon as they see you talking to a girl, they think she puts... Well, you know what I mean. I'm not sure. It looked to me like maybe you had another girlfriend or something. Are you kidding? Hey, look, if it was up to me, I'd never look at any other girl but you. Hey, I tell you what. We're throwing a party in the park tomorrow night for Frenchie. She's going to quit school before she flunks out again and go to beauty school. So, uh, how'd you like to make it on down there with me? I'd really like to. But I'm not so sure those girls want me around anymore. Listen, Sandy, nobody's gonna get salty with you when I'm around. Uh-uh. Okay, Danny, as long as you're with me. Hi, Danny. Let's not let anyone come between us again, okay? Oh, don't let me interrupt. Here, why don't you troll that a while? I've been dying to tell you something. You know what I found out after you left my house the other night? My mother thinks you're cute. He's such a lady killer. Isn't he, though? What were you doing at her house? I was copying some homework. Come on, Sandy, let's practice. Yeah, let's. I'm just dying to make a good impression on all those cute lettermen. Oh, so that's why you're wearing that thing. Trying to make a good impression on all the horny jocks. Don't tell me you're jealous, Danny. What? Of a bunch of meatheads? Don't make me laugh. Just because they can do something you can't do? Yeah, sure, right. Okay, what have you ever done? Will you stop? Okay, I won the Holy Gully contest on at the Teen Talent Record Hop. You don't even know what I'm talking about. Listen, I could run circles around those jerks. But you'd rather be copying other people's homework. Okay, the next time they have trots for any one of those teams, I'll be there. Oh, what a lucky coincidence. The track team's having tryouts tomorrow. Huh? Okay, I'll be there. Big talk. You think so, huh? Hey, Patty, what time did you say those tryouts were? Tomorrow, 10th period on the football field. You're gonna come watch me, right? Ooh, I can't wait. Solid. Later, sexy. Toodles. Ooh, I'm so excited, aren't you? Come on, let's practice. <laughs> on the rebound here for our second half dance with the word bird contest coming up in a half an hour and maybe I'll call you hey hey I think you'll like this little ditty from the city a brand new group discovered by Alan Freed turn up the sound and stomp on the ground oh yeah So, Frenchie, when do you start beauty school? Oh, next week. And I can hardly wait. No more dumb books and stupid teachers. Hey, anybody want to vote? Yeah, you got any pink ones left? Yeah, give me one. How about one for later? Gosh, what a mooch. Hey, Rump, you shouldn't be eating that cheeseburger. It's still Friday, you know. Ah, what'd you remind me for? Now I gotta go to confession. Well, I can eat anything. That's what's good about being a Lutheran. <laughs> That's what's good about being Petunia Pig. <laughs> Look who's talking, Porky. Oh, hey, Sonny, don't maul that magazine. There's a picture of Ricky Nelson in there that I really want to save. Yeah, I was just looking at Shelley Fabre. You know... Lots of people think I look like Shelly Farberries. <laughs> Not a chance. Hey, you want another cheeseburger? Nah, I'm gonna have a Coke. 
You shouldn't drink so much Coke, you know. It rots your teeth. Thank you, Bucky Beaver. I ain't joking. I heard about this scientist once who knocked out one of his teeth and then he put it in a glass of Coke. And after a week, the whole tooth had rotted away until there was nothing left. Jeez, I ain't gonna carry around a mouthful of Coke for a week. <laughs> Besides, what do you care what I do with my teeth? It ain't your problem. No, I guess not. Hey, Danny, how would I look as a college girl? Bula bula. Hey, watch it. It belongs to this big jock at Holy Contrition. Yeah, well, what do you see me wearing one of them things? I tried out for the track team today. Huh? What? What? Are you serious? With those bird legs? <laughs> rump. 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 Yeah, better hobby than yours, rump. <laughs> How come you never get mad at those guys? What for? That name they call you, Rump. Nah, that's just my nickname. It's sort of like a title. What do you mean? Well, I'm king of the mooners. The what? <laughs> I'm the mooning champ of Rydell High. You mean showing your bear behind people? That's pretty raunchy. No, it's neat. I even mooed old lady Lynch once. I hung one on her right out the car window and she never knew who it was. Too much. I wish I would have been there. I mean, you know what I mean. I wish you would have been there too. You do? Ain't that the chick you know? Well, Sandy, I think I have all the leaves I want. Uh, why don't I wait for you with Dad in the station wagon?
Hi, it's Sandy. What's shaking? How about a beer? No, thanks. I can't stay. Yeah, so what are you doing hanging around? I just came out to collect some leaves from Miss Rob's biology class. Oh, yeah? There's some really neat ones over here. Come on, I'll show you. Hey, Danny, ain't you gonna follow him? What for? She don't mean nothing to me. Sure, Zuko. Every day now. You mean you ain't told him? Told us what? Oh, nothing. Right, Zuko? Come off it, Riz. What are you trying to do? Make us think she's like you? What's that crack supposed to mean? I ain't heard you complaining. That's because you've been stuck to my face all night. <laughs> hey, cool it, huh? Yeah, Kanicki, if you don't shut up, you're gonna get a knuckle sandwich. Ooh, I'm really scared, scab. Okay, you slob. <laughs> Fight. Hey, settle Fight. down. Put me down! A couple of fruitcakes. Well, he started it. Jeez, make one little crack and she goes tutti fruity. Jeez, nice couple. Cause tomorrow night, yours truly, the main brain, Vince Fontaine, will be emceeing the Big Dance Bash down at Rydell High School. Along with me will be Mr. TNT himself, Johnny Casino and the Gamblers. So make it a point to stop by the joint, Rydell High, 7.30 tomorrow night. I'll see you there. Hey Zuko, you going to the dance? I doubt it. Aw, you're all broke up over little Gidget. Who? Aw, oh, come on, Zuko. Why don't you take me to the dance? I can pull that Sandra D crap, too. Right, you guys? <laughs> Look at me, I'm Sandra D. Lousy with virginity. Won't go to bed till I'm legally wet. I can't. What are you talking about? I never said anything about you. You creep. You think you're such a big man, don't you? Trying to make me look like just another tramp. I don't know why I ever laid eyes on you, Danny Zuko. Weird chick. Hey, Rizzo, you want to go to the dance with me? Huh? Sure. Why not? Do you have a date for the dance tomorrow, Jan? Tomorrow, let me check. No, I don't. Why? You want to go with me? You kidding me? No. Sure, Rob. Yeah. Uh, hey, Frenchie. Can you still go to the dance tomorrow now that you quit school? I guess. Why? Uh, nothing. I'll see you there. Hey, uh, Kanicki, how about give me a ride to the dance? I'll pick us up a couple of chicks. With what, a meat hook? <laughs> No, I got a date from cross town. I hear she's a real bombshell. Gee, I don't even know if I'll go. Why not, Marty? I ain't got a date. Hey, I know the perfect guy. Hey, Eugene! <laughs> <laughs> 
doing lovely dream time music on WLDO with a popular hit from last summer. It's raining on prom night. It's raining. everybody. Here he is, the main brain, Vince Vonte. Yeah. I've had a lot of requests for a slow one. How about a Johnny Casino? All right, Vince. Here's a little number I wrote called Enchanted Guitar. And don't forget only 10 more minutes till the big hand dive contest. Yeah. So if you got a steady, get ready. Danny, you gonna be my partner for the dance contest? Maybe. Nothing better comes along. Drop dead. Oh, sorry. Why don't you let me lead for a change? I can't help it. I'm used to leading. Well, hey, duty. You could at least turn me around or something. Don't talk. I'm trying to count. Danny! Danny! That's my name. Don't wear it out. How did track tryouts go? I made the team. Oh, wonderful. Hey, Zuko, I think she's trying to tell you something. Go on, dance with her. You ain't doing me no good. Hey, Eugene, Betty Rizzo thinks you look like Pat Boone. Oh? What do you say, Fruit Boots? I understand you were asking about me? Yeah, I was wondering where you parked your hearse. I never knew you were such a fabulous dancer, Danny. So sensuous and feline. Huh? God, nice time to get here. Look, the joint's half empty already. Can I help if my car wouldn't start? Jeez, what curly decorations. Where'd you think you were going, American Bandstand? Well, we had a sock hop once at St. Mary's, and the sisters, they got real pumpkins and everything. Neat. They probably didn't have a bingo game that night. A contestant in the Miss Rock and Roll Universe pageant? Yeah, but I got disqualified because I had a hickey on my neck. Really? Thank you, thank you. Hey, Vince. Vince. 
Hey, Vince. What? Any more requests? Yeah, play anything. Well, all right. Here's a little tune called Anything. Hey, everybody, let's do the stroll. Okay. I can't imagine you having ever danced with Sandy like this. What do you mean? Well, I mean her being such a klutz and all. She can't even twirl a baton right. In fact, I've been thinking of having a talk with the coach about her. Why? What do you care? Even you have to admit, she's a bit of a trip. Isn't that why you broke up with her? Look, she used to be a halfway decent chick before she got mixed up with you and your brown nosed friends. <laughs> hey, Kaniki, where you been? The submarine races? Nah, I had to go to Egypt to pick up my date. You feel like dancing? Crazy. It was nice talking to you, Betty. Yeah, see you around the bookmobile. Hey, Rump, let's go have a smoke. Yeah, okay. Oh, Roger, would you get me some punch? <laughs> you crippled? Hi, I'm Vince Fontaine. Do your folks know I come into your room every night? Over WAXX, that is. I'm going to be judging the dance contest. Are you in it? I guess not. I ain't got a date. What? A knockout like you? Man, things sure have changed since I went to high school. Last year. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Hey, ain't that the chick Kaniki walked in with? Where? The one picking her nose over there. That's the baby. Jeez, is she a gorilla? God. I thought she's one of those uh, cafeteria ladies. <laughs> hey, did you come here to dance or didn't you? Uh, of course, but I never learned how to do this dance. Uh, there's nothing to it. I'm teaching ballroom at the CYO this summer. One, two, cha-cha-cha. Three, four, cha-cha-cha. Very good, cha-cha-cha. Keep it up, cha-cha-cha. Uh, you certainly dance well. Thanks. But you know, you can hold me a little tighter. I won't bite you. Thank you. Thank you. This is John the Casino telling you when you hear the tone, it'll be exactly one minute to hand jive time. Yeah. Excuse me, it was nice meeting you. Uh, Patty! Hey, don't you have my phone number or something? Uh, Patty, you promised to be my partner for the dance contest, remember? That's right, I almost forgot. Hey, Rizzo, I'm ready to dance now. Don't strain yourself. I'm dancing with Kaniki. That's all right, Zuko. You can have my date. Hey, Charlene! Come here. Yeah? What do you want? How'd you like to dance this next one with Danny Zuko? <laughs> the big ride of the Burger Palace boys? I didn't even think he's seen me here. I didn't. <laughs> okay, alligators. Here it is. The big one. The hand jive contest. <laughs> Let's get things underway by bringing up our own Miss Lynch. Thank you, Clarence. <laughs> Whenever you're finished. Now, before we begin, I'd like to welcome you all to Moonlight in the Tropics. And I think we all owe a big round of applause to Patty Simcox and her committee for the wonderful decorations. They should have got real pumpkins. Now, I'm sure you'll be glad to know that I'm helping to judge this dance contest. Oh. All right, all right. I'd like to present Mr. Vince Fontaine. Mr. Fontaine! Uh, coming right up. As most of you know, Mr. Fontaine is an announcer for the radio station Wax. Oh, uh, dig the scene on Big 15. All right, now for the rules. One, all couples must be boy-girl. <laughs> Too bad, Eugene. <laughs> Couples using tasteless or vulgar movements will be disqualified. That lets us out. 
Three, if Mr. Vince Fontaine taps you on the shoulder, you must clear the dance floor immediately. I just want to say truly, in all sincerity, Miss Lynch, you're doing a really terrific job here. Terrific. And I'll sure bet these kids are really lucky to have you for a teacher. Because I'll bet, in all sincerity, that you're really terrific. Is she terrific, kids? Only thing I want to say, in all sincerity, is enjoy yourselves. Have a ball, because it's like we say at Big 15, where the jacks hang out. If you're having fun, you're number one. And some lucky guy and gal is going to go bopping home with a stack full of terrific prizes. But don't feel bad if I bump you out, because it doesn't matter if you win or lose. It's what you do with those dancing shoes. So, okay, cats, throw your mittens around those kittens, and away we go! the cow when I was three I pushed up my house my traffic would I move my legs and I started this so I gathered eggs Cha-Cha Di Gregorio. Cha-Cha Di Gregorio. They call me Cha-Cha because I'm the best dancer at St. Mary's. Oh, that's very nice. Well, congratulations to both of you, and here are your prizes. Two albums, Hits from the House of Wax, autographed by Mr. Vince Fontaine. <laughs> Two free passes to the Twilight Driving Theater, good on any weeknight. off at Robert Hall. And last but not least, your trophies prepared by Mrs. Snyder's art class. Were they terrific? Come on, let's hear it for these kids. Only thing I want to say is you kids at Ride are the greatest. You bet. Cracker Jack box did you get that zip gun out of anyway? What do you mean? I made it in shop. 
Hey, what's shaking, French? You get out of beauty school already? Oh, I cut tonight. Those beauty teachers, they got work in there. They don't know nothing. Well, hey, what's with the arsenal? We got a rumble with the flaming dukes. No lie, how come? Remember that grungy broad I took to the dance? Godzilla! <laughs> One, two, cha-cha-cha! <laughs> You mean a cha cha de garage door? <laughs> or uh, the one Danny won the dance contest with? Yeah, well, it turns out she goes steady with the leader of the Flaming Dukes, and she told this guy. Danny tried to put his hands all over her. If he did, he must have been trying to make a bug collection. <laughs> hey, hey, fat Danny. Hey, Danny. What's he doing in his underwear? That's a tracksuit. Hiya, Danny. Jesus, Zuko, where do you keep your Wheaties? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a good thing you're here. We're supposed to rumble the Flaming Dukes tonight. Yeah, what time? Nine o'clock. Nice play. I got field training till 9.30. Can't you sneak away, man? Nah, Coach Shepard's to kick my butt. <laughs> Coach Shepard's, I can take him! Besides, what am I going to do? Stomp some guy's face home with my gym shoes? Come on, Zuko, what are you trying to prove with this track team crap? What do you care? Hey, look, I got to go. I'm in the middle of a race right now. You got the huts for that cheerleader or something? Hey, you like a fat lip, Sonny? Zuko, we're going to get creamed without you. Nine o'clock, huh? Hey, I'll be back if I can make it. Eat guy. Causes a ruckus and then cuts out on us. Next thing you know, he'll be getting a crew cut. He'd look neater with a flat top. <laughs> Hey, are you guys hungry? Yeah, yeah can, can, how about splitting a super burger with me? Sure, son. Good, let me have a buck. <laughs> uh, hey, Frenchie. Maybe I'll come down to your beauty school some night this week. We can have a Coke or something. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Jeez. What am I going to do? I mean, I can't just tell everybody I dropped out of beauty school. And I can't go back to the Burger Palace for a job. With all the guys sitting around. Boy, I wish I had one of those guardian angel things. Like in that Debbie Reynolds movie. Wouldn't that be neat? Somebody always there to tell you what's the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. Your story sad to tell, a teenage ne'er do well, most mixed up non delinquent on the block. Your future's so unclear now, what's left of your career now? Can't even get a trade in on your smile. School dropouts, no graduation day for you. Beauty school dropouts, missed your midterms and flung shampoo. Well, at least you could have taken time to wash and clean your clothes up after spending all that dough to have the doctor fix your nose up. Baby, get moving. Your feeble hopes alive, you're proven. You got the dream, but not the drive. If you go for your diploma, you could join a steno pool, turn in your teasing coat, and go back to high school.
Baby, don't sweat it You're not cut out to hold a job Better forget it Who wants their hair done by a slob? Now your bangs are curled Your flash is twirled But still the world is cruel Wipe off that angel face And go back to high Baby, you blew it You put my good advice to shame How could you do it? Bet you, dear Abby, said the same Well, there's no way to get through to you No matter who may try Might as well go back to that mall shop in the Looks like they ain't gonna show. They said they'd be here at nine. What time is it? Hey man, it's almost five after. Let's split. Give them another ten minutes. Hey, what happened to Rump? Who cares about Dumbo? Who never thought to go back out on us? Nice rumble. I heard a flaming deuce against you, me, and Howdy Doody. <laughs> hey, I heard about this one time when the Dukes pulled a sneak attack by driving up in a stolen laundry truck. That really must have been cool. Hey, you guys! Watch out for that cruising laundry truck! Okay, where are they? Let me at them! Where's Zuko? Well, look who's here. Where you been, meatball? I bite the weenie, moron. My old man made me paint the basement. I couldn't even find my bullet. Had to bust off an antenna. Ha! What do you expect to do with that thing? This is Dennis James bringing the play-by-play -play of championship gang fighting. Listen, I'll take this over any of those tinker toys any day. Okay, Rump, how about I hit you over the head with that thing, then I hit you over the head with my lead pipe, and you can tell me which hurts more. Okay, can you keep, come on, come and get it. Hey, watch it with that thing, Pimple Puss. Oh, what's the matter, Mr. Lottieri? Afraid you might get hurt a little? Listen, chicken fat, you're gonna look real funny cruising around the neighborhood in an iron lung. Then why don't you do something then? You got enough rubber bands to start three paper routes. Come on, Rump, let's see you try that again. And what happened to your big bad pipe? Okay, Wump, well, how's about Moon and the Flaming Dukes? Pants him! Oh, God. Get off of me! Hey! Oh. Yeah! Let's go, let's go! <laughs> hey, you guys! Wait up! Oh, crap!
You can move a little closer, you know. This is all right. Well, can you at least smile or something? I mean, I practically had to bust Kaniki's arm to get the car for the night. The guys are really PO'd at me. I mean, I thought we were for gonna forget about that whole scene in the park with Sonny and Rizzo and everything. I told you on the phone I was sorry. I know you did. Well, you believe me, don't you? I guess so. It's just that everything was so much easier when there were just the two of us. Yeah. Hey, look, you're not seeing another guy, are you? No. Why? Well, I was gonna ask you to take my ring. Oh, Danny, I don't know what to say. Well, don't you want it? Uh-huh. I should have gave it to you a long time ago. Danny, take it easy. What are you trying to do? I really like you, Sandy. What's the matter? I thought we were just gonna, you know, be steadies. Well, what do you think being steadies is anyway? Come on, Sandy. Danny, stop it. I've never seen you like this. What are you getting so shook up about? I thought I meant something to you. You do, but I'm still the same girl I was last summer. Just because you give me your ring doesn't mean we're gonna do all that stuff. Hey, Sandy, wait a minute. Maybe we better just forget about all Sandy, this. Sandy, where are you going? You can't walk out of a drive-in. <laughs>
Hello, Frenchie. Could you come over for a while and bring your makeup case? want to come over to my place to watch the Mickey Mouse Club, yeah. Annette's gonna be on. Oh, yeah. Hiya, Patty. <laughs> Do a split, give a yell, shake your rum for Road Rydell. <laughs> she ain't talking. Maybe she had another fight with Danny. Hey, Pom-Poms, why don't you make me a track star, too? <laughs> Nah, get me out on the field. I'm a better broad jumper than Zuko. <laughs> <laughs> You're disgusting, all of you. You can have your Danny Zuko, you worthless bums. Nice talk. What's the matter? Don't you like Danny anymore? As if you didn't know, he quit the track team. What? Huh? I just found out. The other day, the coach asked Danny perfectly nicely to get a haircut. But Danny made a shamefully crass gesture and walked off the field. What's a shamefully crass gesture? Oh, boy. Not only that, before he left the locker room, he... Oh. He smeared Ben Gay the team captain's athletic supporter. Oh. oh! Hey, you guys, let's shake him. Hey, Danny. Hey, Zuko. Hey, what do you say? Zuko, where you been? We were just coming over to my place to watch the Mickey Mouse Club. Annette's gonna be on. Yeah? Yeah. Danny, I want to talk to you. Hey, ease off, Patty. It's very important, Danny. Nah, come on, it'll be neat. <laughs> Solid. Later, Patty. Remember, play it cool. Hey, Zuko! Ooh. Wow, Sandy. What a total. Wicked. What's it to you, Zuko? Well, uh, me and the guys are just going back to watch the Musketeers. You want to come? Danny, what's gotten into you? You couldn't possibly be interested in that... that floozy. I'm gonna have a black eye! Oh, don't worry about it, honey. I'll fix you right up. I just got this new job demonstrating this miracle makeup at Woolworths. Hey, Sandy, you're something else. I see you noticed, huh? Tell me about it, stud. Oh. Well... I feel so strange Well upon my way Now my brain is reeling And my eyes are blurred Well, I tremble a lot I'm nervous and I'm high Uh-huh, I'm a choker Well, there's a high design Well, I'm on my head And my circulation cuts a dish of rail I'm in a cold sweat My t-shirt's all wet 
uh-huh, I'm a choked up Oh baby, 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 take my heart before it breaks My knees are weak and my back won't quake My hands are colder than ice, my throat is black than a vine Wanna change my pain to paradise Fever, fever, running through my skin Don't you hear me now, don't you know that you need me You know I'm in one, so don't you be one Uh-huh, I'm all choked up Fever, 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 and a dangerous spell It's a situation I know pretty well Well, I've been there too, so I'm here for you Uh-huh, I'm all choked up Fear down and out, you begin to walk And you say that I'm when I did it all I'm sure you can see it gets me right here. Uh, I'm all choked up. Oh, baby, do it slow and don't complain. My poor heart just can't stand you straight. I can cure your disease. Come on and say pretty please. Take your medicine down on your knees. Got a fever, a hundred four Fahrenheit. Need your loving. Can I come over tonight? Feel the slow down. My equilibrium shot. Give me the tranquilizer you got. That's just tough and a half You're gonna make me die Don't make me mad Well, I'll forgive what you put me through Cause I do you to me Let me do I look in your eyes And stop with the dice Uh-huh I'm all choked up Yeah, 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 yeah I'm all choked up Yeah, 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 yeah I'm all choked up Yeah, still got my ring. I guess you're still pretty mad at me, huh? Nah, forget about it. Hey, are we just gonna stand around here all day? Let's get out of here. Yeah, we're missing anything can happen day. Yeah, let's cut. You coming, Big D? Solid. Hey, Patty, you wanna come? Thanks, but I wouldn't wanna get in the way. Nah, it don't matter, right? Heck no, come on, Patty. Hey, Marty, did I tell you I'm getting a new... Chevy? Ooh, will you paint my name on it? You bet! <laughs> Jeez, the whole crowd's together again. I can just cry. Gee, me too. Yeah. Wop, ba, ba, loo, ba. Wop, ba, boo.
Uh, yes, Betty? Come here! 